Well, hello everybody, and it's Tiddlywinks time again. It's great to see you all, and if it's your first time, I'm Becky, and we have two regular guests on Tiddlywinks, and the first one is Mr. Tiddlywinks. And he loves to make a big noise and he says hello to all of you. And then we've got somebody who's a lot quieter and that's Tiddlywinks Ted. And he's saying hello to you too. So Tiddlywinks Ted, you're looking incredibly smart today. Why is that? Oh. It's because our story today is all about Paul, Jesus' special friend, meeting someone incredibly important. So Tiddlywinks Ted has dressed up specially for the occasion because it's a royal person and he's called King Agrippa. Oh, well, well done, Tiddlywinks Ted. Are you going to say goodbye for now? Now, Mr. Tiddlywinks is feeling quite pleased with himself this week. Do you know why? Well, last week he met this very scary spider. But God helped him feel brave. And so, Tiddlywinks, Mr. Tiddlywinks, has made friends with Boris the spider. Do you want to show us, Mr. Tiddlywinks? All right, so here's Boris the spider, and God helped you feel brave. Is that right, Mr. Tiddlywinks? And God helped Paul feel very brave when he had to meet King Agrippa in our story today. But first of all, let's say the Tiddlywinks prayer together. Bye-bye, Mr. Tiddlywinks. God in heaven, hear my prayer. Keep me in your loving care. Be my guide in all I do. Bless all those who love me too. Amen. So today's story is called Paul Tells a King About Jesus. Remember Jesus' special friend Paul, who we've been learning about? Here is a picture of the figure we made. Last time, I told you about Paul being in danger. Paul was telling everyone about Jesus, and some bad people didn't like it. Paul was put in prison. A boy we called Ben wanted to rescue his uncle Paul. So the man in charge of the soldiers sent Paul to a place called Caesarea. Then all the soldiers lined up with Paul, some in front, some behind, some on one side, some on the other, to keep Paul safe. He was later taken to see the king. His name was Agrippa. Lots of important people were there as well. Paul was scared, but God helped him to feel brave. What have you done wrong? asked King Agrippa. Nothing, said Paul. I talk to people and tell them about Jesus. Some people didn't like me talking about Jesus, so I was put in prison. Well, said King Agrippa, tell me about Jesus. So Paul told the king about how he had once been on a journey. Suddenly, Paul said, I saw a bright light. It shone in my eyes. I couldn't see anybody or anything. Jesus spoke to me. Since then, I've changed my mind about everything. I didn't used to like people who followed Jesus. Now, I am a friend of Jesus myself. And I want everyone else to be friends of Jesus. Jesus is your friend too. He wants you to spend time talking to him because he loves you. 
So today is our last session about Jesus' special friend, Paul. So we're going to make a little book together called Paul's Story. And when you've finished making the book, you might be able to use the pictures and tell mummy and daddy all about the story of Paul. So what you will need is your template sheet that I sent you, printed out in white card, a hole punch, some paint sticks, some scissors and some wool. So first of all, cut out your pages very carefully and then colour them in with your paint sticks. Take your hole punch and you need to punch holes all the way through all the different pages and then you take a piece of wool and tie together the pages at the top and another piece of wool and tie the pages together at the bottom. And there you have it, your book, all done. So Paul told everyone about Jesus. He even went and told the king about Jesus because Jesus was his best friend. And he wanted everyone to be a friend of Jesus too. Because it's only a very special friend, isn't it? Who can help you feel brave when you're scared. And even more than that, Jesus is always nearby. And we can't say that about many of our friends, can we? He's always there. We can always talk to him. And he will always help us be good. So our next song is called Jesus is my best friend and see if you can do all the actions with mum and dad. Well, I hope you enjoyed doing all the actions and singing along with that song. It was great, wasn't it? But we're coming to the end of our session now and so let's close in prayer. Hands together and eyes closed. Thank you, Father God, that you sent Jesus to be our best friend. And we thank you that he's always nearby and we can talk to him any time we like. And we thank you that he helps us feel brave when we're scared. And that more than that, he helps us be good. In Jesus' name, Amen. So Katie will be seeing you next time, next Sunday, and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Christchurch, 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 you more. Oh, yeah.